What's up? Welcome to Dude Dad's Do It Yourself. All right, so today we are going to be working on a bass net. My wife is nesting hardcore. So this is my attempt at uh, sort of joining in on that and helping her out and uh, surprising her with a one-of-a-kind bassinet made by me, her husband, the father of her children. I don't have a lot of time to do this either, so this is going to be like a build that should be pretty quick and not take very many tools. So first I just bought up these glued pieces of uh, slabs, I guess these pre-glued slabs. You can get them at Lowe's. This one's a six footer by 12 inches by uh, three quarter inch and it cost about 16 bucks. I'm gonna use that for the sides. And then this other guy here, this one's about 30 bucks and it's the 20 inch by six foot by uh, th uh, three quarter inch. Now this one, depending on how tall you want your bassinet, you could probably get away with four foot lengths. I wanted to match ours to the level of the bed so that we could basically roll over and be right there. Um, so that's how I got my measurements. Our bed is 23 inches high. So I'm gonna make this, uh, the, the height of this, the side rails at about exactly 23 inches. So the baby's just like poof, right there. Okay, so I've already started marking this off, but the way I did that was first I knew that I wanted the top of the side rails to be at uh, 23 inches up. So I measured from the very bottom here. I marked out 23. Um, and then I knew that I wanted the bottom of the mattress to be about eight inches below that, or actually, excuse me, nine inches below that. So nine inches down, I put marks, and then I knew that I wanted the inside of the mattress to fit a mattress pad that I found on Amazon, which is uh, 13 inches by 29 inches, and then two, I have to add an inch and a half because this material is an inch and a half, or uh, three quarters inch thick, and I'm gonna have those right there. So um, I measured out the very center here, which is 10 inches, and then um, I went um, about 14 and a half, which would be an inch and a half over 13 inches, and I measured that out. So seven and a quarter from each side of the very center makes those marks. And then uh, I actually brought it in at the top here to about 18 inches. And that gave me my slope that I brought all the way down here. Um, and then this bottom, I just sort of played with it, but I used a string and a pencil, mark out this bottom here. So you got a nice curve for the rocker. And, uh, and then I just used that line to follow up as high as I could without falling off the edge of the pieces because I want the headboard to be a little bit taller than the footboard of the bassinet to give it a little detail. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut this whole piece in half and then attach it to this so that I can cut out both of them at the same time and get the exact same shape. Now I'm gonna use my Bosch jigsaw, cut out these pieces. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna cut the inside one because I know I don't want both of them to be that short. I'm gonna cut the outside one and then I'll detach them and cut the inside one. I've got all the curved pieces cut already, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the circular saw to cut these straight parts. Okay, now I got these cut out, as you can see. So this will be the headboard, and we use this as the footboard, as we already got this marked out, so I can just cut this off. This will be shorter and make this our headboard. I will have to redraw my moon, though. There we go. Just use this old tape roll to mark out this moon shape that I'm gonna cut in now. I'm gonna drill a hole to get my jigsaw bit in there. Okay, 
Okay, now we're gonna do the side walls real quick. We're gonna make these at 29 inches. Now, I can decide what kind of shape I wanna have for these edges, because I know I wanna have a little bit of a taper here or something like that. So I just gotta kinda draw one out. Okay, now that we have our sides, we need to put, I cut these one by twos down to the exact same length, 29 inches, but because it's gonna be sitting in here a little bit at an angle, so this is gonna be sitting in here like this, um, so that will hold our bottom platform, um, but because this is at a little bit of an angle here, we actually have to cut an angle on this so that that bottom sits flat. I took my square, I found that angle, which for me it's 10 degrees, so then I marked out 10 degrees uh, on my circular saw here, and I added the guide on here so that I can just run it right along this and cut these at a 10 degree angle all along the edge there. So now I'm gonna use my piloting uh, Craig jig here. Let's see, we're gonna want probably three in each one of these ends here. Okay. Okay, now that we got all the major pieces cut out, I'm gonna go ahead and just run the sander over top of everything and especially get these edges a lot just to clean up all that stuff that the jigsaw um, hacked away at. Here we go. Okay, now I'm gonna use my Dremel tool with a router bit, just like that, um, to sort of round off these corners and soften them up a little bit. If you don't have a router or a Dremel, you could just use your uh, sander and go at the side, you know, like this, that action. This is gonna be a little bit cleaner, um, a little bit easier, so I'm gonna do that. Just work it all the way around the edges on both sides. And okay, once you've taken the router all the way around it, you can uh, then just hit the edges one more time with your sander just to get those fully cleaned up. Uh, I've already done that, so now I'm going to go ahead and start putting it together. To make sure these sides are in the same spot, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run my tape from the bottom here up this straight edge, like that, and we're looking at 14 and a quarter. So run it up the same way on the other side. We just measured these two points here and cut our 10 degree angle. I'll plop that right in there like that. Oh, that fits nice. Got this piece of plywood cut. This is just quarter inch plywood. Yes. It'll fit right in there like that. Beautiful. And there we have it. Without the stain and everything, you've got yourself a nice little bassinet. Okay, now I disassembled it quick um, because I'm going to stand it up. And we're not gonna use normal stand, I'm actually gonna use wood dye. It's uh, from TransFast. Um, I've been dying to try this stuff, so I think this is a perfect project for it. This is a translucent, uh, or excuse me, uh, turquoise blue. Um, so anyway, I've already got some mixed up here. You just mix it up with water. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That is so gnarly. All 
All right, so then I added this little cross brace in the bottom here and put it back together and here it is. I am pretty happy with how this turned out. It, uh, I had to stop part way because Theo wasn't feeling well, so he's been hanging out in the wagon next to me. But the uh, whole project cost about 50 bucks. Um, and uh, pretty excited. What do you think, buddy? Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please like and share it and subscribe. And you can check out all of our other comedy videos as well as our family vlog. And thanks for watching.